Hey, good afternoon, welcome. My name is Jim Davis, and we're here at the Fluke Network's Technical Assistance Center. <laughs> Lovely Everett, Washington. It's even a sunny day today. So we're gonna be working with our new Optifiber HDR module. The new module doesn't replace our existing OTDR. This has some capabilities that were just beyond our existing OTDR. We're gonna be looking at outside plants and splitters. Got a bank of splitters here. And one of the things that is most common for Fluke tools is their ease of use. Let's get this test started. One of the things that's nice in the ease of use is for the tester to tell us what is available on the link. We may not know what is available on the link or what the link should look like. So we're gonna run the test here. First thing we're doing is checking the quality of the port. We see that the port is in good quality. We're in auto mode here. I haven't configured anything. I did tell the tester we're testing single mode, <laughs> but I haven't told it anything beyond that. And I've asked it to discover for me what it sees out there. So we'll give it a few more seconds so I can see the trace and it's telling me there is a four port splitter out there. Sure enough, we're on a four port splitter. Let's try a different splitter and see if it can figure that one out. So I'm just gonna save this test real quick and I'm gonna push the secret button on my camera because I wanna inspect and make sure my connectors are clean before I plug them in. I don't wanna contaminate my port. So, we're in auto mode. I'm not telling it what's out there. I'm telling it that I want to test single mode fiber. <laughs> it's the only option. But really, I want the tester to do all the configuration for me. It's going to calculate what range, how long is the fiber that we're working with. What pulse width do we need to use? I don't want to use a pulse width that's too small, that I'm not able to identify the fiber, and I don't want to use a pulse width that's too large, that causes me to miss events that are on the fiber. All right, so, hey, look at that. We've got an eight port splitter. Oh, four ports, eight ports. You might say, that's pretty easy. Show me something more challenging. Show me something that I have on my network. Well, again, I'm gonna save this test result. And now let's just take a look at this connector. Make sure it's clean. Beautiful. It's a shame that it's clean because I wanted to make one other comment. Our quick clean connectors that work on our UPC connectors, also work on APC connections. This one's clean, so I'm not gonna clean it again. Let's plug into another port on a larger splitter. We'll go back to home. Now again, I'm not touching the configuration. We are still in auto pawn OTDR. We'll push test to start. Now when we push test, the OTDR is gonna check and make sure there's no problem with the link, make sure it's in good shape. I haven't gone back to reconfigure and tell it what size splitter is out there. That's the magic. If it can tell us, make our life easier. This won't happen every time. Yes, there's still a manual mode and we can still do some tuning. Don't worry, the OTDR guru's job is safe. But let's see what this comes back to us with. So we've got the trace as it's running, going out there, we've got a pretty big loss event for this one. That's gonna be bigger than our eight port. This is gonna be a splitter that you might be using on your network today. This could be an indoor network, a pond LAN, could be an outside plant, fiber to the X. And oh, we've got a warning. Let's take a look because it's important to read the warning messages. They're there to help us. The loss for one or more events may be too large to measure accurately. It's saying, hey, I'm making my best guess, but you might wanna make sure that that's what's really happening. And it's telling us we have a 32 port splitter. 32 port splitter, nothing up my sleeves. Anyways, one of the features of our new high dynamic range OTDR, the latest member of the Versive family. My name is Jim Davis, coming to you from the Fluke Networks Technical Assistance Center in sunny Everett, Washington. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please post them below here. Thank you very much.